What is up guys, welcome back to another video and today we're gonna be looking at a very controversial topic I would say. It was really a 50-50 for me because I know people are gonna get triggered, especially there's a lot of doggy fans, next play fans that are pretty toxic and you know all teams have their toxic sides. They're fans, they all have their toxic side. Even Gosu fans have their toxic side, right? But yeah, I don't think it's ever gone to this kind of level. I made the decision to actually make it and emphasize this video or whatever's happening in the MO community right now because I think the future of the MO community really depends on what these people are doing, these influencers, the, these professional players are showing the viewers, right? What is being normalized and what's okay to do and what's not okay. So first, we have a screenshot right here from Inspiration Gaming. So Inspiration Gaming, if you guys don't know him, he makes videos on content creators. It doesn't have to be an MO content creator, but majority of it will be MO content creator. And he tells them their story and whatever's happening, whatever an issue is, Inspiration Gaming is always there, right? So, uh, let's read it. Nung nanalo next play, isa ka sa nakikikongrats at isa ka sa nakikicelebrate. Ngayong natalo sila, isa ka rin sa nang babash at galit na galit. Ano ba talaga trip mo sa buhay? What this is, is it's pretty much saying when next play won, you guys kept saying congratulations, you guys are celebrating with the whole next play solid fans. But then when they lost, which is when they lost to Blacklist, they ended up bashing and they were really mad at the players and the team in general. I'm pretty sure that is pretty normalized in the Filipino community. I don't see it on other communities. I cannot name another community that does this shit. It's mainly Filipino community. Please, if you know any other communities that do this shit, comment that below. It's actually pretty childish that people do this. I would say the PH community when it comes to this, it doesn't even have to be ML. Like people do this shit in the NBA. Lakers lose. Bash, bash LeBron, bash LeBron. Lakers win. Oh, LeBron is a fucking god. He's the best player in the world. Filipinos do this shit. The biggest bandwagons in the world. Not even joking. People are gonna say, oh, you're, you're not a proud Filipino. You're embarrassed you're embarrassed to be Filipino. That is not the point. I'm Filipino and I'm still a proud Filipino and I am not embarrassed to be Filipino. But there are some culture, there's some things that we Filipinos do that is borderline stupid and so toxic. So we need to change that, honestly. It's just so bad. So let's move on to the next screenshot. So this was the biggest issue last night. If you guys didn't know, if you guys didn't watch the game, next play solid loss against Blacklist and they got 14 0 by Blacklist on the second game. They got demolished. On the second game, they had a team with no CC. Baxia was their, their most CC. That, that was it. And the other team, they had Atlas, Lolita. They had, they had so much CC. It just They just couldn't do shit. But uh, we see Chester here. He posted a screenshot of Execration losing to Onyx PH. This was a while ago. This is not something recent. Fuzaken was still an Onyx, so this was a while ago. I think this is just petty, I would say. Petty. This kind of childish. Why are you trying to trash talk a team that you didn't even play that day? Right? You didn't even play that day. And try to not accept the defeat that you just got. Usually, for me, if you lose, just try to move on. Uh, it makes it worse worse that they didn't even go against Execration. That makes it even worse. They didn't go against Execration and yet Execration is the team that they're trash talking after that game, which I really don't get. Some people would say, okay, uh, Execration, they're gonna make an excuse, right? This is what I'm gonna see in the comment section. Execration and Next Play Solid, they're good friends. They always trash talk each other. But does that really mean that makes it okay? That's the real question. Does that really make it okay? These guys are professional players now. They're considered professional players. Once you reach MPL, you're considered a professional player. Do you really see this on other communities? All right, for example, League of Legends. Double lift. We know double lift for trash talking, right? And banter. The worst thing he said, he I, I know two lines from double lift. He said on the all-star game, I can't wait to crush these smug Asians or something like that, right? It would feel a lot better if we just crush these smug Asians. This is the worst thing I've heard from Double Lift. The worst trash talk that I've heard from another community, all right? If, we, if we're just gonna compare. Another thing he said was, I think it was Dyrus. Nobody else was a threat. CLG is non-existent. That's something that people went crazy over. You know, you can hide the game without going over the line. All right, and without gambling, without needing to gamble. People try to hype the game without with, with, with gambling. I don't think it's a good thing to promote. Another thing that uh, I saw from League of Legends is C9 Jensen. I can't wait to stomp Faker or something like that. And then he played Faker, he got stomped. I don't know if you guys remember that. And Double Lift as well, uh, he, he said everybody else is trash or something like that. But yeah, that, that's the worst trash talk that I've heard from the League of Legends community, which is a community that Mobile Legends looks up to, supposed to look up to, because they're the bigger MOBA game. We're supposed to be looking up to the, you know, the more, 
more popular, more it's it's more international, it's more professional, but it's just it feels like with these type of posts, uh, Chester is the team captain. Imagine he's the team captain for next play solid. He's the team captain for a professional team. What is the point of posting this? It's just really childish and petty, I would say. And also, I'm pretty sure Zap News posts already got deleted. All right, I'm pretty sure he got deleted because even Chester's post got deleted. Some people could say it's fake drama. I don't freaking know. But even if it is fake drama, it's just not something that we want to normalize. That's the argument. It's not something that we want to normalize and be regular in the ML community because that's just not how the other communities are. Same with CSGO and I'm pretty sure same for Dota too. You don't see people trash talking like this in those communities, in those international known games, okay? Okay, Um. so uh, Zapnoof said that focus muna tayo sa game sa Execration versus Ara. Ginugulo niyo kami. Pag 2 na tahimik na please, naririndi ako. What he pretty much said is we're gonna focus on the Execration versus Aura, which is the series after Signal Ultra and BSB. And um, he said that Chester is just distracting him or something like that. Um, he wanted to focus on that series. And Chester's like, okay, he said, Anong ifo focus mo? Eh, di ka naman lalaro. Di ba pinay personal mo? Dito ka lang walang takbuhan, promise. Okay, so he said that, What do you need to focus for? You're not even gonna play. And why are you attacking me personally? Because Zapnu had a post. He made fun of Chester for being disabled, right? He's crippled. If you guys don't know Chester's disability, he has like a back problem or something like that and he didn't undergo surgery because it's too risky so he ended up not going through surgery and just dealing with it tinitiis niya tinitiis niya but he cannot do things that are way too physical so yeah I'm, the Zapnu post probably got I'm pretty sure it got deleted because I don't see it anymore making fun of someone with a disability that's kind of fucked up yeah that is definitely messed up never seen that anywhere before it doesn't change the fact that it got deleted I think it deserves an apology honestly it's just messed up uh, it doesn't even matter if they're friends I, this could be a fake drama like they always do and they could be friends it's still fucked up to make fun of somebody that's crippled which is messed up but then again, Chester attacked Execration first and Execration didn't even do anything. Actually, Chak Noon posted some, uh, a screenshot of MB's interview. He was saying that we will crush everybody in the MPL. It was like a meme, but he didn't say anything. Chak Noon posted a picture of it. And that's where Zap knew, all right? That's where Zap knew posted the um, the comment of, oh, you're crippled. I forgot what he said, but he said, he made fun of his disability. That's all I know. And here we go. Here's the drama or friendly banter kind of stuff where Chester is kind of like taking back everything he said. Or same with Zap Noon. Actually. But let's read it first, guys. Dun sa mga sumo supporter ko at ng mga next play, wag nyo ihate at ibashi zap nyo. Baka nadala lang siya ng bugso, ng damdamin niya. Nag like, sorry na naman yung tao sa mga fans. Okay, so he, he already said sorry. I didn't know he already apologized. I guess he already, I, I, I haven't seen his apology, honestly. Nag like, sorry na naman yung tao sa mga fans namin. Wag nyo gayahin yung iba na toxic sa lipunan. Support nyo lang kami, wag kayo mag hate ng ibang team. Pero trash talk pa rin namin ng ex. Eh. So, what this says is, if you guys are a supporter of next play, do not bash Zapnu. I think his feelings just got to him or something like that. He said sorry to the people already and for the fans of Next Play, please don't copy being toxic. Something like that. Which is very hypocritical, I would say. Very hypocritical because they're kind of promoting toxicity but at the same time, he's kind of telling people not to be toxic which is, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what the point is. And uh, he said that just support the team. Support all the teams and don't hate any other teams. Which is, uh, I don't know man. It's, it's just so confusing. It is very, very confusing when reading all these posts, all right? And then for this one, this is Etomax. He's also a player for uh, Execration. He is also considered a professional player, okay? So what did he say? Ito pre, real token lang. Maintindihan ko kung kayo nakadulog sa Execration ML, pero tangin na pre. Ano yan? Taga print screen, ang puta, mas malakas pa bawas ng print screen mo kaysa sa laro nyo. So, uh, what this guy said, uh, he want, okay, here's real talk. I would understand if you guys beat Execration, but fuck you guys or something like that. Why did you show a print screen or which is a screenshot? Your screenshot shot is stronger than you something like that that's, that's technically how you translate it i guess <laughs> But yeah, another trash talk, you know, more trash talk from Execration and Next Play Solid. Um, and here goes Etomax. Teka, teka, delete post muna tayo about sa Pilay, medyo foul tayo dun. That was the Zap new post that I was talking about. Uh, he was saying that delete, delete the post about the cripple disability, stuff like that. Um, and he said, my bad. Okay, but he's not the one that posted, alright? Etomax is not the one that posted the, it was Zap new, okay? This guy also said, tangin na nyo kahit magtulong-tulong pa kayo, baka tulungan ko pa kayong mga tagahanga ni Aso. Etomax lang malakas, tangin na nyo. So this guy 
guys saying, fuck you guys, even if you guys help each other out, you know, even if there's a bunch of you guys that idolize Doggy, Etumax is the only one that's strong. Fuck you guys. Pretty much that's 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 how it translates, kinda. So he's talking about the Doggy fans. Obviously we have a lot there's a lot of Doggy fans. You cannot cannot really avoid <laughs> the toxicity of the Doggy fans because his fan base is so big. So it's something really hard to avoid to happen. Alright, okay, whatever Doggy thinks, his fans will always bash on the opposite of that opinion. Hopefully that made sense. Alright, the last uh, thing, makapag ML nga putang na lalang pasuhin ko lang mga player nitong next play. Kala mo may narating na ang mga putang na na chamba lang naman pagpasok ng MPL putang na So this guy, Eto Max, is saying that uh, let me play ML, I will destroy all these players on next play. They think that they've gotten somewhere, but they just got lucky when they got into the MPL. Fuck you guys. I have never seen ever in my life until recently, uh, until the ML community of just professional players just cussing each other out in public and social media <laughs> which is not something very professional. And I'm pretty sure hopefully you guys agree with that. If you disagree with me that you think this is just friendly banter and friendly trash talk and that makes it okay, then you're just promoting toxicity and negativity. That's on you, all right? That's whatever. You're one of those people that just don't give a fuck about the community. So here we go. I think these are the last couple trash talks that I've seen from Anthemox, but he posted the most. I don't know if he was trying to ride the hype. I mean, he wasn't even in the conversation because he's in execration, so that makes him part of the problem, but it was mainly Zapnu and Chaknu doing all the trash talk and the banter and all that stuff. And this guy comes out of nowhere and just trash talks them. Babalikan ko kayo pag nagtap for yung next play nyo, dun tayo mag trash talkan mga tuta. So he said, I'll go, I'll come back to you guys when next play reaches top four. And that's when we'll trash talk um, puppies. So he's um, saying puppy because of doggy's fans. He, he's calling doggy's fans puppies. So last post. Tangin na nyo, wala akong pake kung nasa na SS nyo mga tangang tagahanga ni aso. <laughs> wala ay nagaya na kayo sa idol nyo aso mga hampas lupa. He's telling doggy's fans that they're kind of copying or he's pertaining to Doggy's fans being really toxic and trying to copy Doggy. Hampas uh, Lupa. It's calling someone else a peasant, pretty much. A peasant or a slave or something like that. That's kind of what it means. Another thing that influenced me to make this video is this post by Coach uh, Leather Goods. If you guys don't know who Leather Goods is, he was the coach or he still is the coach maybe. I think he helped Sunsparks and Bren. I saw him at M1 at one point. I saw him at M1. He was with the... It was with Bren but like Sunsparks. It was weird. You know how Bren... Uh, it was Sunsparks and then they renamed it to Bran, but now it's out of PH. It's like really, really weird. So I don't even know who he's coaching for, but he is a coach for ML. But what he said is, Grabe talaga MPL ngayon o may extra ang ingay publicity na naman ba ito? So, MPL is like too much right now. The noise is super super loud. Is this a publicity stunt? Or talagang yan na ang personality ng PH community? Or is this really the personality of the PH community? Does it always have to be kami lang ang malakas mentality? Does it always have to be um, we're the only strong ones mentality? Kind of like um, cocky, alright? Cocky is the way to say it. Um, cocky mentality. Where has the joy of esports come to here in the Philippines where the people would enjoy all the moments of the competition. Mukhang mas masaya sa atin makipagtrashtokan. Makes me wonder, are the people watching really there to watch the competition? Or are they there to wait for all the negativity and try and make their own cloud? So, that was in English, so hopefully you guys understood that. So, I do agree. I like, what are we there for? Are we are we really there to look at the, the competition, the contest, who's gonna win and that? Or, or are we just there for the fact that whoever loses, you get to trash talk afterwards? Something like that, right? Which is, I would definitely have to agree with, honestly. Um, it is not something good for the community. And the more influencers, the more professional players that promote it, the worse it becomes, all right? Also, he said on the second paragraph, Gusto nyo ng matinding real talk? <laughs> he's, I, I feel like he's really frustrated. So he's asking if um, you guys really want something, you want, to, want me to state facts or real talk. As Dave might have been right for calling the MPL a clown show, when these kinds of things happen, when criticism is no longer present and all there is left is simply people calling for attention. So it's just professional players talking trash to each other and all that stuff. And even though it, they, it could be fake drama, I don't freaking know. It's like I said, I'm gonna keep repeating myself. It's just not good for the community. So again, I call out all the teams in the MPL. Do you really want to raise the standards of PH Esports? Um, then you should already fucking know what to do. Play to win, you sorry players. Don't simply play to survive. 
respect your craft and don't make an ass out of yourself. So yeah, I definitely agree with what Leather had to say and this was a big part or big reason as to why I wanted to make this video because I kind of want to emphasize what he's trying to say as well and share it to you guys. I want to share it to my viewers, my following, because I know majority of my viewers are Filipino, obviously. The question is, do you guys really want ML to be on that level, you know? To be on that international level. For the other communities to respect us, we need to look professional. I get that other games have toxicity as well, right? League of Legends, right? We got Tyler1, we got Hashin Shin, who, who's really toxic as well, but they got punished for that. They got punished for that, even if they're big influencers. And um, actually, Tyler1 was indefinitely banned at one point, but he got un unbanned as long as he reforms. He's still a little bit toxic obviously we've seen it on his streams but you know for ml for content creators nobody gets punished i feel like nobody gets punished too much when people trash talk each other in game you're probably gonna get muted for one game the next game you're fine so nobody cares they just keep trash talking like after the draft you'll already hear people trash talking each other it's ridiculous during the draft during your draft, you'll already see people trash talking each other. Do you guys really see that a lot in League, right? A lot in League. The problem is, ML, you need to decide on who's gonna get, who's gonna play a specific role when you're playing solo, duo, rare, a trio queue. But in League of Legends, it's the roles are already filled for you. So nobody argues, oh, I'm gonna play core. Oh, I'm gonna play tank. Nobody's gonna argue, right? Yeah, that's why there's less toxicity on League of Legends, I would say. Plus, the punishment for League of Legends is a lot worse than punishments on what they give here in ML. Punishment needs to be harsher, I would say, honestly. Going back to the MPL uh, PH community being really toxic, most of the people that watch content creators, they're mostly doing 1v1s, 1v1 trash talkan. That's what we wanna see. That's what people wanna see. Apparently, I'm not really a big fan of 1v1. Obviously, it's entertaining, Record does it, and one. 50 does it that's how he got big trash talk and 1v1 but it, it's it's just not for me right it's not for me it's it, it could be a content for some people and i know a lot of people a lot of comments are gonna say Kanya -kanyang discartian. but is it really is it really something that we want to promote and look up to do you ever see a 1v1 where we the whole fucking stream you just trash talk each other only or even in dota 2 you cuss each other out you you make fun of somebody for losing their job <laughs> It's honestly, I don't know what's happening to the MPL PH community. It's just not, not even in ML, even on other games. PH has always been toxic for some reason, even on other games. And it doesn't even have to be video games. It could be NBA or some other sports game. Uh, or it's, it could be some other sports is what I mean. But yeah, um, tell me what you guys think below if you guys, especially if you guys are from, from the Philippines. This is our community. We're all in this together. It's the Filipino community. I know that I speak English in the majority of my videos, but I'm still Filipino, so I'm still considered in the MP, uh, uh, PH com community. So, all right. Uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. For the people that act like this and for the people that look up to this, it's just not good, all right? It is just not good. So uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, and don't forget to share it so that people, more people would see this, okay? I'll see you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.